What's up guys, welcome to your 116th Android tutorial for the new Boston and you know our SQL Lite database projects coming along quite nicely we're just going to add another method to it uh, because in the last tutorial we allowed our database to be open and able to write to it so we also want to be able to close our database because we don't want it to remain open for the most part so we're just going to create another method called public and it's going to be void and we're just going to call this close pretty simple little method here all we're going to do is we're going to refer to our database helper and close that so we're just going to say our helper dot close and that's going to close again our uh, basically our class right here our database helper or SQL Lite open helper is what it's actually closing so that's pretty simple now let's see what we want our application to do so we're going to switch over to our SQL Lite example class and again you guys hopefully set up all this stuff already um, basically referring back to our SQLite example XML and just all the references and all that good stuff so basically what we're gonna have is the person's gonna enter some information for the edit text and then hit the update button and within this update button what we're gonna do is we're gonna just set up two strings so string uh, name equals uh, basically our SQL name which is our edit text uh, get text and then to string Oops. so nothing new there and we're also gonna set up you know the attractiveness or the hotness so we're just gonna say uh, hotness here and refer to our other edit text which is our edit text hotness And now what we can do is we can refer to our hot or not class, or so we're going to set up a variable from our hot or not class. And we're doing a, just going to call this entry. And again, we're just going to say new, hot or not, and we're going to pass in the context of this, this class, or you can even say uh, SQL light example dot this. So now what we can do is we can uh, just open basically our entry because we just set up that open method and there we go and we can also close that entry. And now what we want to do is we want to be able to write some information to our database which is what we're going to work on in the next tutorial or two. But again, um, what we're going to actually do is we want to pass in both strings so we can actually set up our method right now. We can just make it up. So we're going to say entry and then we're going to say we're going to say create entry something like that. And uh, you know, it's going to give us an error because we haven't set up this method. But what we'll, what we want uh, to add to this method, we want two parameters because we want the information from this class. So we're going to pass in both string names we're gonna give the first parameter the name and the second parameter the hotness so again we're passing in two strings so we want to make sure this method uh, has access to both of those strings that are being passed in so now what we can do is we can hover over and we just say create method uh, entry string string in the type hot or not so we're just gonna click that and as you can see it creates this entry or this uh, this method here called create entry which we're actually going to program in the next tutorial but quickly let's just talk about everything that's happening so you guys kinda of understand um, more of what's going on uh, we, when we hit our update button it's going to basically get the text from both of our edit text set it up to a string variable then we're going to create a new instance of our hot or not class which we pass in the context of this so what's going to happen is it's going to shoot over to our hot or not class it's going to look for that constructor here and it's going to see that we're passing in a context. We're going to set it up basically the context that's being passed into a private variable that's only available in this class. Then what's going to happen is we call that open method, which is you know going to basically set up our helper, and we're going to create a new helper um, with the context again that's being passed into this class. We're going to pass in that context for a new helper object, and so that's going to be passed up here where again we just set up our, from our database name the version all that stuff 
and basically set up our database if it hasn't been created yet or if it has been created it's going to drop it and uh, you know recreate it or upgrade it and then uh, what we do is we have this method called create entry within our other class that we call where we're actually going to write to our database and then we just close our database or close our helper uh, variable that we created um, again here uh, within our open method so hopefully you guys kind of understand what's going on now and again in the next tutorial we're going to actually write to our database so um, have a good one guys and I'll see you then